Hey everyone, Lacey here, and I'm excited to bring back the Mandalorian Minute, and I'm giving you my initial reaction to the first episode of The Mandalorian. It doesn't have a title per Disney+, Plus, but it is chapter 17. Um, I'm just so pumped that Mandalorian is back. I know people say this a lot online about comfort characters. Mandalorian is definitely mine. I have such a warm feeling when I see him on screen and I just get excited of where this adventure is going to go. It's just purely Star Wars to me and I'm so excited that this season is happening. All right, so that being said, um, I'm just going to give you guys like a minute overview of what my thoughts were with a little kind of here and there of what happened in this episode. So if you aren't interested in uh, seeing this or you haven't watched it yet, Maybe come back to this video after. <laughs> All right. So um, I don't have a timer set, but I'm just going to trust my own my own uh, timekeeping skills. And here is my reaction. So Mando is back. Uh, he sees his clan initiating a new member into uh, their group and a big gigantic snapping turtle comes, which I thought was insane, but it really showcases the visual effects of this show and the creatures that are living within the Star Wars universe that we never really get to see. Um, plus, snapping turtles are really, they could be nasty. They could be nasty animals. <laughs> um, so he really comes to save the day. That was a really awesome moment for me. And I, uh, I can't help but wonder why he continually goes back to this clan and like has to be a part of them. I understand that it's something that you've known your whole life. And, and I get that. Uh, my reaction would kind of be like, okay, let me go be somewhere else because they don't want me here. But uh, he's really pushing for it. And I hope he succeeds. He then heads to Navarro to meet up with Grief Karga, and that place is a bustling city. Most notable to me was when we first saw in episode one, even before that, at Celebration 2019, when they showed us clips for The Mandalorian, they showed us a scene where he was walking through the Navarro kind of outpost city street, and there was, I remember, a uh, Kwakian lizard monkey in a cage kind of like crying because he was about to be eaten, and like in front of him was like a spigot where it was being roasted, and I remember everybody in the audience was like, oh my god, but now in Navarro, they're living in the trees, and they're free, and they're having a great time, and I love that for them. <laughs> That that made me really happy. And um, I'm going to warn you, those are the type of moments that stick with me more than other things. Um, of course, we see the spinning chair scene. He, you know, Grief Karg is telling him, hey, settle down with the little one. Let's go. And Mandalorian is very adamant, like, no, I need I need to keep going. I need to get my creed back or be part of the Mandalorians again. So he tries to take on IG-11 from their statue and like reprogram him and he can't get it. And there's this kind of like very horror-esque Walking Dead scene where the thing's like half dying. But uh, I thought it was really funny because um, he defaults to his his normal programming, which is to kill the asset, which would be Grogu. And we can't have that. Um, my favorite part of the episode, which we'll get into more probably tonight with the Mando Fan Show, is the Anzellans. His, you guys could have assumed. The whole scene is just hilarious. And uh, I loved seeing them back again. And there's multiple of them. Anything that showcases Lucasfilm and Star Wars creatures, and specifically like puppeteering to me, is just straight magical. And I love it. Um, but overall, so he then goes to get a chip from Bo-Katan or help from Bo-Katan. And she's just like, get out of here. See you later, Mando. So my thoughts, there is a moment in this episode that I thought James would be freaking out wherever he is, which was the Purgles are seen in space, which is a big call to obviously Thrawn and to Ezra. Um, so we're, we're getting there, guys. We're working towards that moment. And everybody knows it's coming because in the last season, they did mention Thrawn by name. Um, and we all know how Rebels kind of ended for those characters. So Wow, there were just so many kind of like breadcrumbs throughout this episode and really getting you back into the swing of things, but uh, it was a great episode. It was a really, really fun episode, and I can't wait to see where Mando goes, um, but I'm interested to see what you guys thought of this first episode. I think we killed. Uh, let me know in the comments. And then tonight, back, it's back, is the Mando Fan Show here on the YouTube channel and on our Facebook page live. John, James, and I are going to talk about The Mandalorian, give our Pedro Pascal face scale rating. Um, at 8 30 p.m so join us there we're gonna get kicked off with the mando code where you can win some cool prizes and much more um mando's back baby and we're so so excited so i'll talk to you guys soon and may the force be with you